Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Git Good Guy, and today we're talking about the Gewehr 43 for the Assault class in Battlefield 5. I've titled this video the best rifle in Battlefield 5, and that's because it's basically what I keep hearing. People talk about this weapon being better than this and that and the other, claiming it makes a lot of other weapons obsolete, and it's becoming something that some players seem to use almost exclusively. So I figured I'd throw it on and give it a try, to see what all the hype is about, and whether I agree with their assessment of it being top of the rifle. So this includes assault rifles, self-loading rifles, semi-auto rifles and bolt action rifles. Now I will just quickly say that if you're looking at the video quality and thinking it's poor, unfortunately that's nothing to do with me, it's YouTube's video compression not really getting on with Battlefield 5, recorded in 1080p, especially on detailed maps such as Twisted Steel, so yeah, sorry about that, but uh, it's YouTube's fault. Uh, <laughs> regardless, back to the matter at hand. I've been a huge fan of the M1A1 since the game dropped, and I just felt like the Gewehr 43 was essentially inferior, but I tried to clear my mind and look at this from as unbiased a perspective as possible, and what better way to test a weapon out than against a stacked enemy team, and with a team of my own essentially just being outclassed, as you can see from the final scoreboard. My team had pretty low points and kills with only one other player on the team actually getting a positive KD besides me, but this weapon still allowed me to do some real damage, dropping 115 kills for 18 deaths and helping my team to a solid draw. A quick shout out to Kill Me LLJ on the enemy team who's a subscriber, he was one of the reasons why this game was so tough. Now with no specialisations on it, the Gewehr 43 felt pretty sluggish to me, especially compared to my fully upgraded M1A1, but with a bit of practice and getting the necessary specialisations unlocked, I started to understand the hype. So these are the specialisations I currently have slapped on. They're essentially built around boosting ADS capabilities with custom stock and lighten stock for the middle two options recoil buffer at the bottom for less upwards recoil instead of barrel bedding because it just doesn't feel like extra stationary aim fire accuracy is necessary to me at the minute but I would consider switching the top two options around. Currently I use quick aim so I can ADS faster because I generally really like that regardless of the weapon I'm using but high velocity bullets for 10% faster travel speed to the target could come in useful so I'm going to continue playing around with that to see which I prefer. But this setup currently really works for me and I use the mid-range scope. It's great for range fights with a semi-auto rifle while still being viable up close. Much the same reason as I use the same sight on my M1A1 setup. Now I don't think the Gewehr 43 is quite as versatile as the M1A1, especially not for shorter range fights due to the slower rate of fire. But when you bring longer range into the equation, well it's a bit of a monster. Possibly the best overall option due to its long range capabilities and still being competent at closer ranges even if it's not quite as good there as the M1A1. But if you want stats, the Gewehr 43 has the second slowest RPM for the assault class, standing at 300 rounds per minute, only beating the self ladder 1916, whereas the M1A1 for example fires at 450, and the Gewehr 43 only has 10 rounds to utilise per reload, 6 less than the M1A1, and by now you're likely seeing why I think the M1A1 is the versatile choice for the assault class, but the extra damage that the Gewehr 43 has really does make a difference, as the M1A1 is a bit of a spam fire option a lot of the time due to how many rounds you sometimes need to land on the target at longer ranges to pick up the kill. The Gewehr 43 excels here, its extra damage makes for a lot of 2 or 3 bullet kills, especially if you hit at least one headshot. It's super effective for a lot of the range fights you've seen in this footage so far. Now of course some may argue for the Turner SMLE and that's perfectly fine. I just currently prefer the Gewehr 43 and it seems like most other players do too, but I am interested in getting my hands on the Gewehr 1-5. I'll report back when I've had some serious playtime with that option. But obviously for the rest of the assault class, their automatic weapons, and with the size and design of the maps we're playing on in Battlefield 5, the semi-auto and self-loading rifles just seem like the optimal choice most of the time at the minute. We'll see if that changes in future with potential meta shifts. But of course we can't forget that the assault class isn't the only class that has rifles, so let's compare with the recon class options. Well besides the assault class essentially just having more useful gadgets overall, in terms of how the classes are currently balanced, the self-loading rifles of the recon class have some serious deficiencies when compared with something like the Gewehr 43. Sure they have some great range capabilities, but you're looking at a far slower rate of fire of 150 or 180 rounds per minute, and only 5 or 6 rounds available per reload, so while picking up 2 shot kills is great, you're also somewhat limited. So for me personally, and again much of the community, something like the Gewehr 43 wins here for overall balance of what it brings to the table, and bolt action rifles are all very obviously used in the way you're all aware of. 
They're more viable on PC than on console, I'd say, due to using a mouse, but for most players, a semi-auto rifle is going to be a better overall choice for a wide array of situations when compared with a bolt-action rifle. Not all players, but most. It's a matter of how forgiving they are and how versatile they are. Now, in terms of how I personally like to utilize the Gewehr 43, most of the time, I'm using it to pick up a kill, maybe two, and then ducking down to get a reload off. Rinse and repeat. Once you get it down, you can become pretty surgical with the speed and precision of your kills and just keep docking back into cover. It's very frustrating for the enemy to play against and highly effective for your team. But you will need a sidearm you're comfortable with for those moments where you can't get a reload off fast enough. For me, that's the Mark VI revolver. Now finally, all of the things I've listed today are reasons why the medic class can't be given something like this weapon. Yes, I think medics are somewhat weak currently. Their SMGs need buffs. I know there's a planned range buff coming, although I would have preferred a close quarters lethality buff, but we'd also like to see some weapon variation in the class, so there's a bit more versatility for these massive maps, but not something like the Gewehr 43 or the M1A1. Think about what you've seen on screen today, plus the power to heal yourself. We'd have the BF1 God Medic problem all over again. We certainly need something weaker than this. So, what do I think after all of that information? Well, there's certainly an argument for this weapon being the best rifle in Battlefield 5 for a fairly large percentage of the community. I'll likely still use my M1A1 more due to it being a bit more versatile and aggressive play friendly. But for mid to long range stuff, which is important considering how a lot of these maps play, the Gewehr 43 is a damn good choice. And I now highly recommend it. Get some practice in, add the specializations you want and get to work. It can be lethal. Now I'm going to let the rest of the footage play out for anyone who's interested in seeing what I did and some more of what the Gewehr 43 can do. I'll throw up the board of awesome at the end of the video as well. Thank you all for being here. If you enjoyed, a like would be appreciated as would a subscription, turning on notifications with the bell button and finally feel free to join the Discord server in the description and my pinned comment to get more involved with the community. I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time, latest. Ist unterwegs. Mir schnell! Bin für dich da. Oh, das Ziel dort.